It's hard to imagine celebrating Christmas without giving. To many, it's an unbreakable tradition that is shared among families and friends. Gifts are given for different reasons, for the joy of the season, for the less fortunate, or to say thanks for the support throughout the year. Not everyone remembers to give, but for Maya Chung-Smith, it is hard to forget, as giving is a huge part of who she is. Maya shares with us her first Christmas donation drive with her two sons, Sinkane and Quinn. Quinn, her youngest, is autistic. The idea came to me um, from my son, Sinkane. He attends Gomer's and he is obsessed. He's going to start a Christmas business when he, um, you know, grows up. Sinkane said, Mommy, why don't you and the family get together and try and get some gifts? for the less fortunate. The first place that benefited from this whole idea thing was the Reddy's place of safety. And the children were between the ages of four and 11, right? And it was very successful. People just give and give. And then on Christmas day, because it was the first time I was trying it, um, me and my husband went alone. My family and I wrapped the presents. Some people sent them in wrap. And I have to admit that the group hug that I got from the kids. When I went there and delivered the presents, there are about like 20 children. They're at the home because of abuse or neglect, right? And they're all tiny, tiny kids. And it's about 15 kids and them just chuck for me. And it was awesome, I have to be honest. Every year, Maya has a Christmas donation drive to raise money and collect gifts for the less fortunate. As a working mother of three and a wife, Maya manages well as she has good support. I thought it would be hard, but there was absolutely no difficulty. My initial supporters, as per usual, were my CVM crew, CVM TV itself, my colleagues who I work with, and all the Jamaicans that took time out to care. It was such a success because I was just trying to change, I'm not telling a lie. I didn't know if people would want to give to strangers. I can't assume that because I asked somebody to do something, it will happen. It was overwhelmingly successful. The value of a gift can depend on how strong the relationship is between the giver and the receiver. This makes having money an important factor in buying a gift. But Maya says... It does not take money or richness to give somebody something, right? You can give service, you can volunteer to help me spread Christmas cheer, come out and, you know, carol, caroling, bring back some of the old time niceness. And a lot of people always look at me and my family and say, yeah, you can say that because you have money and blase, blase. You know what I did? I made some t-shirts using pictures I already had. Paul one son for your mama. Um, <laughs> thank you. I made some t-shirts um, using my pictures. Did you just say for men? And women. And women uh, using my image. And you can, I can't think of one thing that couldn't be a donation. Because if you give a hundred dollars, it can make up money for buy a toy, right? There is, a, I have a t-shirt line, Maya says, and one of my Facebook friends donated by giving me a new word. He knows that I'm doing the line and he coined the word, and I'm gonna try to pronounce it properly, beautifillionaire. He thinks I'm a beauty billionaire. And the idea is it's an unusual word. And I said, you've just donated. It's now on my t-shirt, my signature t-shirt, right? So if it's an idea, you can give something at Christmas time. 
kind gestures, warm embraces, a few encouraging words, doing all this out of the goodness of one's heart is an incredible feeling. Well, it feels fantastic. <laughs> I have to admit, I love the shop. I prefer when the people them give me the money, I'm gonna go buy the toys, right? Me too. Last year, yeah, you too, I know that. Last year, um, the recession caused us to get only $10,000 in cash support, right? And me and my older son went to Discom and bought sports equipment for some of the boys at the St. Andrew Roman Center. Um, I like doing the shopping and knowing it's going to make somebody happy and on top of everything it feels like i'm doing what god wants me to do and that is my most important focus when it comes to this particular project i want god's approval I don't care what anybody wants to say, I want God's approval. But organizing a Christmas donation drive is just one of the many things Maya does. The Maya Chong Autism Foundation is the first such organization in Jamaica. The foundation's mandate is to heighten awareness of the disorder in children in Jamaica. The organization is a non-profit one and relies solely on the kindness of individuals and corporate society. If God wasn't running the foundation, there wouldn't be any foundation. I'm a working class mother. I have three children. Um, I have every bill that you have to pay. And I don't descend from riches, right? And that is how I know that God meant the work that I'm doing to occur because he is the one that's doing it. And I will ever tell it, I'm not taking credit for God's work. I'm just the vessel. I read Maya Angelou's writing on philanthropy. Philo means lover, and choppy means man. I do this thing because I love mankind. I love my fellow human beings. I don't need to be paid to love, lo love my brother or be my brother's keeper. That is my nature. I can't explain it, right? Um, I didn't even know that philanthropy meant love of mankind, but obviously, innately in me, that is what I get off on. That's like my thing, you know what I'm saying? What do you think about treating less fortunate kids by throwing them a party? That would be nice, because those less fortunate children, they don't usually get to have parties often as the more fortunate children. So it would be nice to do something like that, along with some gifts. Yeah, you know that, um, yeah. <laughs> But I remember me tell him I love you. I'm proud of you, right? That's true. I never looked at it like that. I was, I, I was going to say that parties are cool, but I think giving them a gift that lasts them a lifetime and brings them joy for an extended period. But you're right. Because you're right. I never thought of that, that um, they don't have much bashment parties and whatnot. That's a good idea. This Christmas, let us not forget those who will not be receiving a gift. Remember that we give not in order to receive, and it shouldn't be based on the amount of money you spend. You may receive a gift you don't like, but remember it's the thought that matters. So give this Christmas season with a purpose.